Hi, this is video number 17 in a series of videos where we're building an FPS game in Unity 2017 for Android mobile devices. Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to continue to enhance our gun. Okay, and uh, in the previous uh, uh, video what we did was we, we created a situation where we have got a button and we can, by pressing that button, we can change between three guns. Okay, and when we fire each gun it has a different uh, power fire rate okay the rate that it fires the speed and also uh, it applies a, a a different amount of force to each object for example this is the default gun okay it fires at a steady pace and it has a small amount of uh, force being applied to it okay and if we change that to our blaster you see it it fires slower than the default gun but with more force right okay per hit okay and then the last one okay the last one was the pistols okay these fire fast okay and obviously because they're firing very rapidly and you only need to hit that cube uh, 10 times and it's gone okay and this one you can't hit the sphere because it's not on the hand shoot layer right so that's where we are now and today if you look carefully at these guns they're behaving slightly differently and that's because of the recoil that means when I press the gun it moves backwards and forwards and if I hold down the gun it moves backwards for as long as I hold the gun alright so that's what we're doing today and if you see the recoil is different for every gun and okay so that's where we're going <coughs> good now what we need to do is we need to uh, first of all create two positions on our guns which is like the start and the finish position because what our script's going to do is it's going to uh, move the gun model forwards and backwards between these two positions all right and I've called them recoil start and recoil back okay and all they are is two empty game objects attached to the player gun and I've just given them a colored tag okay and that's all I've done and I've just positioned them where I want them to be so if we look here it's going to move from this position back to this position and then back to this position so it's going to go back and then forward back and then forward all right Okay, it gives the impression of, of recoil, okay? Right, like a backwards force. Okay, when you fire fire a gun you receive a backwards force, alright, okay? Good. So <clears throat> how do we do that? Well the first thing we need to do, and you're gonna have to do this uh, by spending a little bit of time uh with your model, alright, because I'm going to assume that uh you know you have your own guns ready and they are un very unlikely to look like uh, these ones so therefore you need to set these positions up manually yourself all right but just to get you going what I did was I kind of put mine along the center of the gun along here kind of in the middle all right so that might be a good starting point for your first position and the second position I just put it a little bit back from it okay all right so once you've set up those two positions <clears throat> then we can start so we in order to move these between these two positions we need to use a script okay so we're going to go back to our player gun script and first thing we notice is here is it's asking us for this start and back position and I've just dragged these in okay I've just dragged dragged them in there and, and that's job done okay good so let's have a look at this script Okay, so 
this is the script that we've been using in, in some previous videos and we are uh, enhancing this script okay, further to uh, add recoil to our gun. Now, there are many ways of doing this, um, but I, the way that I've chosen to do it is um, um, for two reasons. First of all, is it's quite easy to understand, and secondly, um, I've successfully used this, uh, and I can't see really any problem with it uh, for like a simple kind of basic um, recoil effects okay good so at the start what I've done okay and for those of you who are new to this please watch the previous videos if not you can take a screenshot now okay and uh, all we're doing is re working on the a script that we we made several videos ago. So now we're going to add here recoil. So here I have a float, which is the speed. Okay, I've set it at one. Keep it keep things straightforward. You can set that as whatever you want. That's the speed it's going to move backwards and forwards. Okay, right. Here uh, is the start position, and here is the back position. Again, these are these two positions. Uh, these positions over here, okay. All right, and we drag them in here. Good. Now, all we need to do is we move down, okay, and we're going to concentrate on in here now, okay. Now, what I've done here is I've put this in late update, okay. Um, there's no it, 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 in my in my opinion, you could put this you could put this somewhere else, but in my opinion, late updates fine, okay? Because it's kind of like just an effect in there. It's not it's not moving stuff um, with with um, that needs to be in update or anything like that, okay? All right. So I've I've chosen to put it in late up late update. Uh, you you can put it somewhere else if you wish, but it's a starting point, okay? good so what we've said here is okay right if the conditions for shooting are true okay then we're going to shoot but what we're going to do as soon as we hit shoot because those conditions are true we're going to move we're going to move the gun all right so here it says here this is guns gun number now those who haven't done the previous video, I su suggest you do, because this will this is not going to make sense otherwise. Here we have on line twenty a an array of guns, and we have three guns in here. Okay, and each of those guns is given a number. Okay. So what this piece of script here is doing, <coughs> excuse me, is it's saying okay. Gun number, whatever it is, depending upon which gun we're using, okay, could be like gun number zero, one, or two, okay. Move it. The position of the position of this gun, so it's gun gun number one. It says, okay, we're using gun number one, so we're going to move gun number one. The position of this is now we're going to move it towards a new position. Well, it starts off it's in, a, in its original position, which is here, and then it's going to move to the recoil back position at this speed times time delta time, okay, at this, at this rate okay, of movement, okay. So, that's all that does. One more time. It's saying, okay, whichever gun we're using in the array of guns, the position of that we're going to move it we're going to move this from where it is now to its new position at this speed okay now so we've moved it back we've press fire moved it back now it's going to come back when you when you're ready to fire the next shot okay 
it's going to move forwards all right but it might not move all the way forwards it depends on what the fire rate of the gun is and that's why you can get different effects and you can play with that right but these 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 numbers i've got now give you that effect okay it says right okay if the timer is now greater than the fire rate which means you can fire again and even if it hasn't moved all the way back which is correct because when you fire a gun it kind of goes back 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 keeps going back a little bit and then and then it goes forward you know it doesn't it doesn't always move straight back to where it was in the initial stage okay it has that kind of slow backward movement it kind of almost pushes you back it's pushing you back as you're firing it like an uh, automatic weapon yeah it's kind of pushing you back and that gives you this effect and that's determined by this fire rate okay <clears throat> so what it's saying here is okay if we've now moved it we've now we've now decided to shoot the gun it's moved it back but now let's move it forward again let's move it let's try and move it back to where its original point okay and how far back it gets to move it to its original point will depend upon this value in fire rate okay the big blaster is going to go back and then go back to where it started the two pistols that fire really fast are going to do, 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 they're going to move back and keep moving back until until they get to a maximum point and then and then you let go of the well they can't go anymore and then you let go of the shoot button and then they move back to their original position right okay so if the timer is greater than the fire rate okay then move this gun that we've just moved back move it from where it is now which is the now it's in the back position to its new position which is the start position the forward position at this speed okay good that is all there is to it okay i tried to make that as clear as possible there are other, other ways of doing it but it's a nice little piece of easy to understand code here and it functions quite well if you, if you set it up okay and i'm pleased with it i think it i think it's uh, it's fine it's good enough for this this particular game all right okay but it's up to you good so like with anything that we do in the code we need to save it file save okay and let's have a look at that now we've gone through the code let's have a look at that and see that working and i can explain that that movement to you okay remember this is an fps game all right and the, the the gun and how the gun behaves you know it needs to it needs to behave in a way that the user kind of expects it to behave all right it, 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 it needs some of those qualities okay and we're kind of going through a few of those qualities right so here we are then <clears throat> so i'm going to start uh right so this is the regular gun press it once it comes back and it goes all the way forward to its original position right if i hold the gun down it's going backwards and then go look watch before i hit it one time a single shot it would go back and then back to its original that's what, what you'd expect with a normal gun okay one shot okay but multiple shots would push would would continue to push it back okay so we have that effect and that's to do with the fire rate okay like i just pointed out good so let's have a look at another gun right these pistols now these are going to be firing really fast and we expect see that you do one shot then move back one multiple okay okay and we get to a uh, blaster now if you hold this one back this blaster because it's got a slow fire rate kind of see and also this is in you know this is also to do with the fact that we're holding this button down we're holding down this fire button so we're getting this we're able to get this 
this shoot is true ball working in that in that uh, update okay so there you go right that's how you get recall in the game I would say the most difficult part about doing this is actually determining where's the best position to put these two empty game objects the recall start and the recall end I think that's going to be that's going to be the um, that's going to be the uh, thing that's going to take the time all right okay thanks very much for uh, watching I hope you learned something uh, in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to add a flash to the end of the barrel of these guns okay so when you fire the gun uh, not only is it going to do all the things it can currently do but you're also going to see a, a flash uh, an image at the end of this gun which is kind of mobile friendly you know it's not going to be loads of particles flying out everywhere and slowing things down potentially just going to display an image at the end of the gun and uh, there we go all right thanks very much hope you learned something uh, please subscribe and see you in the next uh, video